What is going on, Indian Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another Diecast video. And I'm bored out of my mind. I'm bored out of my mind, and I do have an idea of the next Diecast video that I am making. As most of you guys know, or I don't know, maybe all of you guys know, I'm not sure. I am huge on collecting 164 diecasts. Uh, cards, right? Indy card, NASCAR, Hot Wheels sports cards, and so on. However, for some of you guys that don't know, I do have 124, but however, it's not a lot. It's only six 124s. Five of them, all I got for free from a family friend, well, one in the, in the span of eight months back in 2015. And then another one that my parents got me for christmas in 2017 i will show you guys what it is it's not a lot but hey we got 124s although i'm not big on 124 collecting let's get to the video shall we so before i get started with this video just a reminder that i got five free 124 diecast in the span of eight months in 2015 one from a random day which i'll get to in a moment and two um i believe it's three or four that i got from christmas 2015 from a family friend so anyway let's just get it started so first up one of the four cards i got for christmas in 2015 it is steve parks 2001 um pendoil Looney Tunes Monte Carlo 400 from Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. I think this is when Richmond was doing the Monte Carlo 400, but Looney Tunes was sponsoring uh, the races from the span of 2000 to 2002. Here's the thing. I don't only have the 124, but I also own the 143 scale. Thanks to my good friend NASCAR Nick 2488, who also got me this for christmas so let's see what the car looks like it's been a while since i opened it man it's been a while since i looked at this car and my 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 it is still a beauty just look at this very beautiful the thing i like about 124 is they're very detailed of course, you can like open, obviously the hood, the fuel cell, and then you got the window nets. It feels real. It just, it feels realistic. The tires um, and the the red outlines, they look real too. Honestly, 124s are very detailed. I'm not sure if they're detailed to this day for the newer diecast. I'm not sure. Remember, I don't... I don't have the uh, modern 124s, only like the 2000s, and I only got one in 2017. And the grill, the only, and the grill just feels, ugh, feels a bit rough on your nails. So here's a little 360 of this car. You got the TV back, a bumper camera, the roof, and then the Monte Carlo 400. So this is the 124 of Steve Parks' Pennzoil. Monte Carlo 400. I forgot there's uh, Sylvester the Cat and Tweety Bird. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I think the name is Sylvester. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while. And then here is the 143rd scale. It would be awesome if I had the 164 scale. That would be awesome. On to the next car. The next car I will show you is my very first 124 scale I ever gotten from a family friend. And... On that certain day, we were going to a racetrack for a race called Lakeland Motorsports Park or Lakeland Dragway or Stingray Dragway, whatever it was. I used to go to that track the early days, mainly from 2008. And then I came back to that track seven years later in 2015. I did have footage of that on my original channel, but sadly it's gone because YouTube is poop and they never told me why my YouTube is terminated. Anyway, so unfortunately, I think um, that racetrack, Lakeland uh, Dragway, or Lakeland Motorsports Park, I think that track is gone. It's abandoned last year. 
Very sad because that was my childhood track. They also had a, an oval track, USA or National Raceway. iRacer, um, racers anyone, does that sound familiar? Yes, sadly, yeah, I was there when the track was still around. And then when I came back seven years later, um, the oval track was gone. So it was, it was sad, but I'm still happy I went there. I think that track is gone for good, the drag strip version, I think. Most likely. Anyway, so enough rambling for a minute and a half. Here's Dale and her Juniors 2002 Oreo Ritz Chevy Monte Carlo from Richard uh, Richard Children's Racing. This was in the Bush series. This was when he won the 2002 uh, Bush race at Daytona the day before the 2002 Daytona 500. Very cool to see Junior winning less than a year after Dale Senior was dead, but in the Bush series. But wow, this is a very cool car. I, uh, out of all the six diecasts I will show off, this is my personal favorite diecast. I, it's just a beautiful paint scheme. Is it because of Manly? It's a color blue. Well, yeah, but golly, it's Oreo. Come on, guys, it's a snack. Damn. Oh, uh, sorry about that. A little jump scare. If I scared you guys. Oh, uh, but I, I didn't even realize that this had like some scratches. I don't, it didn't came like that. I don't know how that happened. So here's a car. Oh my God, it's a bit heavy. Here's the hood. Same side. Damn. Look at that Monte Carlo back bumper. It is sexy. It is bringing sexy back. And the spoilers are thick. And then here's the roof. How the hell did this line get there? What the fuck? I don't know how. I didn't do anything with this, but apparently there's lines on this car. This is not from action. It wasn't like that when I first got it. I don't know how that happened. That's weird. But anyway, beautiful car. On to the next one. The next die cast. Um, it is another Dale Earnhardt Jr. But let's just say it's one of those cars that whenever I open the car and then I close it. It's hard to close. That's why I haven't opened it as, that much. Hopefully, I won't have a real problem with it. But anyway, this is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2001 uh, youth uh, Chevy Monte Carlo from DEI, of course. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. Junior had three wins that season. One for Daytona, Dover after 9-11, and Talladega. Although it's a youth car, I still think it's a gorgeous scheme. Iconic without a doubt. So, let's see. I'll show you guys... The the car. Hopefully, I will not have a hard time with it uh, putting it back in. Anyway, so here it is. It's not one of those like uh, realistic uh, 124 details. I think it's um supposed to be like a kid's toy of 124, like that kids can play with. They do have the rubber tires. Other than that, I believe this is supposed to be like a a kid's toy. I don't care. I'm a diecast collector. I don't care if it's a kid's toy. I get what I get, you know? As a diecast collector, you want to get whatever diecast you can, as much as you can, no matter what it is. Realistic toys, I don't care. This is a very cool scheme. Very cool diecast. Although it's like a kid's toy. I think it's, I think it's beautiful still. On to the next car. Next up, it is another Looney Tunes Monte Carlo diecast. Monte Carlo 400 diecast. And it's going to be on Mike Skinner's 2001 Low Some Improvements Monte Carlo 400 with Yosemite Sam from Richard Childress Racing. This is before Low sponsored my all time favorite driver, Jimmy Johnson. And then Mike Skinner was let go in the middle of the season. Robbie Gordon took over. I think Singular sponsored the 31. And then Lowe's went to Jimmy for three races. And then the rest is history until 2018. Holy shit. Anyway. So here's the box. I think this is my personal favorite box design out of all 124s that I have. What the fuck is this? Anyway. But because, like, I love the uh, desert background. I love the blue because it gives you that sun. Um, sunset. Not sunset, but, like, that daytime look in the desert. Is Yosemite Sam being all pissed off? 
Why are you pissed off, boy? Can't kill Bugs Bunny or whatever. God damn, what am I doing today? And then here he is being all happy and shit. Why are you happy? Anyway, so let's open the box once again. I can't even open that box of shit. Excuse my profanity. Oh man, Yosemite Sam, you got problems, dude. Anyway, so here's the car. Honestly, I like uh, Steve Parks' uh, painting better. I think if the 31 was white, it would have been like better luck. Anyway, so th once again, Yosemite Sam being all pissed off and shit. We don't blame you because of the fucking quarantine stuff during the uh, the outbreak health problems of the world. That C word. Now he's just being a little bitch. Why are you sticking your tongue out? What what's pissing you off today? You have anger. You got fuck. I can't speak today. You have anger issues too. Yep. Look at him once again being angry. Why are you so angry, Yosemite Sam? Like I thought I have anger issues. I will admit that, God, and he's scared. Why are you scared now? Okay, besides bashing on Yosemite Sam, this is a not bad of a scheme. Although I prefer Steve Parks better. I don't know a lot about the Looney Tunes paint schemes, I will admit. I know the Gordon one, Johnson, Harvick. I don't know. I got to look at that again because I don't. I don't. <laughs> because the Looney Tunes cards are obviously rare as hell. So, I guess I gotta look up the Looney Tunes paint scheme. So, anyway. So, this is Mike Skinner's car. On to the next one. So, this next die cast is, a, is the only uh, die cast that is not a Chevy. It is not a Ford. It is not a Pontiac. It is a Dodge. However, it was one of those tragic events that took place in 2001. Originally, I was supposed to review this back in September. Um... But I missed out on it, so not sure if I'll review it this year or next year. But this is Sterling Marlins 2001. Proud to be an American. Uh, Dodge from Trip Ganassi racing with Felix Sabatis. Before the coronavirus outbreak that paused the world, paused America. Um, 9-11... It was a, it was one of the most horrific tragic things that ever happened in history. It's unfortunate that those terrorists did that. I know I sound stupid. I do apologize. But it's a, it's very sad that almost 3000 people uh were killed. Innocent lives were lost during 9/11. It's very sad although i've been a bit energetic and maybe humorous about this video i want to take this moment to be serious about this die cast so here's the die cast no sponsors because i believe a bunch of drivers want to do or teams wanted to do a bunch of 9-11 tributes which is very understandable ken schrader had no m&ms just a patriotic car. I believe it was the same thing for Coors Light. And it was understandable. So, this car is American. You got the American flag looking paint scheme. You got proud to be an American. The hood is just gorgeous. This is the Dodge. And then we got God bless America on the back bumper. Nothing on the deck lid. And I, I I do apologize for not showing the engine details and the fuel cells of the Monte Carlos. I mean, look at that fuel cell. And honestly, this is just, this is a gorgeous car. A fitting tribute to the tragic events of 9-11. Hey, Charlie. And then, um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then 14 years later, Landon Castle did a throwback of this car in the 2015 Bojang Southern 500. Very touching tribute for Starlin Marlin and then Landon Castle 14 years later. All right. And finally, the best for last. This is a recent 124 that I have. 
I got it from Christmas 2017. It was only 20 bucks. I think it's pretty obvious for some of you guys. It is Jimmy Johnson's 2017 Lowe's uh, Chevy SS from Hendrick Motorsports. Yes, I got the NASCAR Authentics version of the 124 scales. And I'm going to be completely honest about the uh, NASCAR Authentics 124s. For the people that judged it when it was a thing, when it became a thing, I don't know why people judged it because because you guys have the action version of the 124s, the 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 collectible, real, more realistic, better detailed version of the car, the more expensive one. This one is just for kids. I don't know why diecast collectors, some of them judged this version of the 124 okay so it's not detailed of course it's yes of course it is a toy version of it like i said about the junior one this is a 124 toy for kids who want to play with this i hated that people are complaining about this to be completely honest i want to get more of these nascar authentics not just because i'm a cheap fuck and because, you know, money is everything. Um, I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. I, it's, my, it's my opinion. I like these 124s because it's easier to get in stores. And it's also cheaper. Like, I do have this. Um, shit, I don't know what I was going to say. So, well, here's the box. I do like the box. But the only problem I didn't like about it is just it has the screws. And it was so hard to get this out. I like the box designs. And I like that they have the seven-time champion logo. I wish the 48 had a black outline. Um, although Johnson's a three-time champion with no chase. It's cool to see this logo. And I love the background. Oh, my goodness. This is like the Eutechnics cockpit graphics view. But unfortunately, we got New Hampshire. Got seven-time champion Jimmy Johnson. A 48, Hendrick Motorsports, NASCAR Authentics. Here's the other side again. 48, Jimmy Johnson, NASCAR Authentics, NASCAR Hologram, and 8+. plus. So yeah, it's obviously for toys. However, my parents got me this for Christmas because they know I'm a uh, Johnson fan. And honestly, I liked I like this kind of back, yes. Here's a little 360 of it. I'm not gonna lie. I try to like see if the hood can open. It doesn't. It's just excuse you, Charlie. He burped. And I don't um I think this is from my mistake when I was trying to screw the car. I don't know how, but I think it came like that or I did that. Here's the back bumper. Here's the 48. Here is the underside. So yeah, everything's all plastic, but just to let you guys know, it is it is for kids. So yeah, that's why it looks like that. All right, everybody, that ought to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm happy to give you guys more diecast content on this channel during this hard time around the world. And I'm happy to give you guys more diecast um, videos because I love diecast collecting. It is literally my life. It's just, it's just fun to do. It's my all-time favorite hobby. Although I'm not a 124 collector. I'm not a big 124 collector. I wouldn't mind getting more 124s. That'd be nice. But I'm not gonna lie, 164s are cheaper. Hmm. Not gonna lie. But regardless, I love diecast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm Press 25 and Press 48 Hello, Charlie. Um fuck uh, my instagram uh don't forget to turn on my youtube channel notifications for more content um hey charlie you like these die kiss can you do the outro for me charlie no poopy butt anyway so don't forget to turn on my youtube notification channel bell for more content and i will do so thank you guys for supporting e nation i'll see you guys in the next video say goodbye charlie charlie say goodbye i gotta take him out thank you guys for supporting e nation i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye buddy
So like I mentioned earlier in the video about Junior's 2001 car, this is the only 124 die cast I always have a hard time closing. Like this is the shit I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like I'll show you guys uh, what I mean. Like I take out Junior car. Oh, hey Junior, what's up? And then I put it inside, I put in Junior and then I get this piece um, and then I put this other piece in, no problem. And then this is the hard part for some fucking reason. Oh, now it wants to do that. Okay, whatever. Thank you guys for watching.